Chris, well done. How much of a relief is that? Uh, yeah, no, a big relief. Um, it's been tough, uh, I must admit, and uh, it's been tough, in, um, I think, on the players as well, because um, I think as regards endeavour and effort, you know, in these in these last series of games, it's uh, you know, in certain games you can't fault them for that. I think we've just struggled at both ends and uh, put ourselves under under pressure. You know, we've not been able to get the goals that we needed, but I think. Today, I think certainly that goal, the first goal, and getting it as early as we did, I think settled us down. Uh, and then I think we came on to a really good game. And I suppose the only shame is, is that as the game opened up, I thought we had some really good opportunities to, to increase that lead. Scoring early like that, I mean, it's an obvious thing to say, isn't it? We all know it, but it doesn't half make a difference, doesn't it? It makes a difference and, um, you know, it's, it's the emotions of the game. And, um, you know, for the, for the period we've had, you know, everybody feels it. And certainly the, the players feel it. So, um, you know, it's it's a happy change room at the moment. And I know we are still in a position we are in in the league, uh, but it's something to to build on. Um, hopefully, build on to to, to better results. Um, but but you are right. That first goal, I think, alleviates that little bit of pressure, and um, and some real good debutants today as well. If I'm talking about sorry, not debutants, it, certainly in my time. Let's talk about them, shall we? The, the, the teenagers, Louis Kumbeso and, and Alex Might. What did you think of them? I think both both did really well. Um, and, uh, uh, I think certainly with uh, with Lloyd coming in in a position that, that I think we've been quite strong th this season. Um, but he trains really well. He's a good lad. He trains really well every day, and I think that allows him to put in that type of performance. Uh, Alex probably in, in a couple of positions just showed. That, just a little bit of rustiness, I think, um, as regards his, what he can do in that, in that final third. But certainly if I'm looking at what he put in, considering that, uh, that it's, it's, a, it's a good while since he actually played and played a 90 minutes, um, again, is another one who trains really well. He's a threat, isn't he, with his, with his pace and his trickery? Um, yes, he is. And, um, you know, certainly it's, it's food for thought for myself as well. And I'm, I'm still getting to learn learn about the players um, but I think it, it for, for him I think it was a good overall performance you know what one thing that we have to have from our wide players is is apart from the obvious which is going forward and being creative you know they have to work for the team and, and I thought he was he was excellent that way um, we'll talk about the second goal and, and the man who got it in just a moment if we may but it occurs to me still in that first half after you had taken the lead you had to do a lot of work off the ball didn't you Sheffield Wednesday had a lot of the ball but your shape seemed to not let them go anywhere with it. Are you pleased with that? Uh, really pleased with it because, um, you know, irrespective of where they are on the run that are on, similar to ourselves, uh, they've got some good individuals and, they, and, they, and the, the formation they play, there was always going to have a percentage of the ball. Uh, Banner's a big threat on the ball and I think if you let him dictate, you know, it can, it can be a tough day for you. So I think we've got the grips with our, with our shape. Really pleased with Cafu. Again, I think it's been a, a, a real bonus for us and one that can drop back in um, a little bit. Um, but but I'm, I'm almost as happy with the clean sheet as I am with the goals. Um, uh, what about Cafu? Because I think when he came here, we all thought he was going to be a defensive midfielder. But he's, he's had a really good game tonight, playing a little bit further forward. I mean, where do you see him or, or can he do a bit of everything? Um, no, I think I've, we, we've learned about him. But, um, I didn't know too much about him before, before I got here. Um, the same, you know. Uh, I, I I knew he could play, you know, in a two in midfield, but but he is more offensive. So you know, I think what he has learned, he's learned in a, in a very quick period of time about the game here. So I, I do. I think he can play in a two, but but his strengths really are, you know, what you see, and that's getting on the ball. And he's got and, and he's creative. The only thing probably we've got to get from him a bit is is maybe just a little bit more around the box and and even the possibility of adding some goals for us. Let's talk about Lewis Graben off the bench and, and gets his goal to, to wrap things up for you. I mean, how much of a bonus is it for you to, to have him back and available? A big bonus. And, and I have to say, I thought Lowell Taylor worked hard today. A lot of physicality about him and I think he kept the ball in, in areas. So I was pleased with, with Lowell today. Um, but certainly, you know, when, you, when you've got you know the ability that um, that uh, that Lewis has and the goals that that he can get. It's it's great to have him back and uh, and not just and even you know even if he hadn't have got the goal, I think it's great to have him back. You know in the squad again in the changing room again. Um, you know he's a he's a very well respected player here because of of what he's done and uh, I think it's a big bonus for us.
What about Lyle Taylor, who obviously had to limp off? What's, what's he done? Is he OK? Yeah, the, um, the impression I get is it's a kick. So I think it's one of them ones that will be sore tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm hoping the fact that this is a Tuesday, not a Wednesday, that he'll have that extra day recovery uh, and hopefully he's OK. I know you haven't got too long to prepare for, for Millwall again because the, the games just keep on coming, but you and the squad can take time to enjoy this for a, a couple of hours at least, can't you? Well, a couple of hours and, and uh, they're off tomorrow, which is a day off and, uh, and you know, over this period of time there aren't too many days off, I must admit. So yes, one to enjoy, but you know, another tough one again on, on Saturday and, and that's one in the, you know, the same way that we'll have to be prepared for.